In my last video, we upgraded the crap out of an old hardtail, and if you know me, you know I love doing this. Today we have another hardtail to upgrade, one I'm really excited about because this guy is getting the full treatment. But while I work on upgrading this Scott Aspect 940, I want to address a comment I got after my last video, and has to do with this idea of taking a basic entry-level mountain bike like this one and applying expensive upgrades to it. In my last video, I pitched the fact that I sell custom upgrade kits that you can buy directly from me for 20% off what each of those components would cost you individually if you purchase them retail. That might include things like upgrading V-brakes to disc brakes, one-by conversions, upgrading clunky coil forks to air forks, tubeless tire conversions, and in general, just shedding weight so your little shredder can perform better at races, enjoy mountain biking more, and so you don't have to spend as much time fixing their mountain bike. Link in the description or on the screen if you're interested in that. But I got someone who was interested in getting the works to a very basic hardtail. This was a hardtail with V-brakes and bottom-of-the-line components. Solid frame, but the manufacturer had skimped on the components. So it wasn't going to be cheap to do all the upgrades to get this hardtail in a place where it would work for his kit as a cross-country race bike. We priced the total upgrade kit somewhere around $1,100. And to the astute among you, you will know that is more than the value of a lot of basic used or even new hardtails. And as the customer also noted, there are actually full suspension bikes on the market right now with one by drivetrains for not that much more money than that. And to those points, yes, I get it. Making expensive upgrades to a bike is expensive. And while we could go down the rabbit hole of pointing out all that that base model full suspension lacked as far as quality components, compared to the components that I'm selling in my upgrade kits, and therefore it's far from an apples to apples comparison. That's not the point I really want to make. What I want to share is my answer to that dad, and why he or you should consider upgrading an older, more basic bike, rather than buying a brand new bike. To no one's surprise, I'll be arguing from the point of view, per the name of my channel, that you should absolutely, without question, upgrade your bike and not buy a new one. In this video, while you watch and listen to the pleasant improvements being made to the Scott Aspect 940, I'll be giving you five reasons why you should definitely upgrade and not buy new. Reason number one, with a smaller amount of money probably than you would be spending on a brand new bike, you can get better components. Now I realize that it's a great time to buy new bikes on the market. Bike brands overreacted to the great bike buying frenzy of 2020, and now they have too much inventory, so bike prices haven't been this low in a long time. But if we're gonna compare your basic entry-level hardtail that you've got sitting in the garage right now, and you look at some of those $1,200 or $1,500 full suspension bikes on the market, it might be tempting to immediately want to buy one of those. But if you look closely, those full suspension bikes aren't often as great a deal as they appear. Those one by drivetrains are usually actually one by 10, and they do not give your kids access to the same range of gearing that a one by 11 or one by 12 drivetrain would. And they're usually cheaper, more affordable drivetrains, and they probably will not handle the sustained brutality of a child on a mountain that better components would. So getting into an NX or even a GX RAM drivetrain will just destroy most entry-level full suspension one by drivetrains on the market and will be a better way to go for your Nike rider. Additionally, typically the suspension is not great. You'll probably still be getting a similar heavy SR Suntour coil shock rather than an upgraded air shock that you would be if you just upgraded an existing bike for a similar amount of money. And that relates to reason number two, which is weight. While a brand new full suspension bike might look tempting, especially one that has a dropper post, you're talking about a lot more weight than an upgraded hardtail would have on it. Now, I'm in the process of raising four kids who all race mountain bikes, and I'll be the first to tell you that there are times where weight is not the most important thing. Weight alone will not win races. There are times when the terrain is chunky or technical enough, your kid might benefit more from a heavier full suspension mountain bike that will help them to handle the gnar more gracefully than a lighter hardtail would. And they'll shave off potentially minutes off their time, especially if they haven't learned good riding skills that they will need to get through that chunder on a hardtail. However, if they have the skills that will allow them to not just plow through the gnar, or if the cross-country trails where you live are relatively smooth and flowy, they will likely benefit more from a lighter, upgraded hardtail than they would a brand new, heavy, but not upgraded full suspension bike. Reason number three to upgrade. Rather than trading one bike with subpar components for a brand new bike with additionally subpar components, if you can get some really nice components on that hardtail frame you have now, and then when your kid outgrows that frame, which they will before you know it, you upgrade just the frame set because you already have invested in the lightweight and high-performing components. 
So you can just pull off those nice components off your hardtail frame and put them on that new upgraded frame set. In the long run, you will save thousands if you take this approach as your kid develops. You'll slowly leapfrog components and frame sets, always being able to get your kid on the slowly better and better stuff without ever having to dump thousands and thousands in one go. Developing this cycle of upgrading the bike as your kid develops and grows is rewarding. It will save you money, and it leads to the next reason why upgrading is a lot better than buying new. Reason number four is that it's a lot of fun. It's fun learning bike building, and if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that I love building bikes up with kids and teaching them the trade. It's like Legos for big kids. In fact, I've been doing this so long that my oldest son is now a bike mechanic himself, running our mobile bike shop out of our van. He makes great money for a high school kid. He has a sense of purpose and satisfaction. He's developing entrepreneurial skills and people skills and all of this at a very young age. And that sure beats flipping burgers for peanuts. And for me, I have loved being able to improve my mechanic skills as well. It's fun strategizing upgrades that will decrease weight and give them the edge as they race. It's fun to connect with them and spend time with them on a project. And it's great having the knowledge and growing the tools and the equipment to be self-sufficient without having to run to the bike shop every time there's a problem. As you know, bike shops are a great resource, but often they hold our beloved bikes hostage for multiple days or even weeks, especially during the race season, right when our kid needs it for training or for racing. With me and my kids being able to do all the repairs we need in our garage and having the tools to do so means we never have to wait for our bikes as they sit in some shop and in the long run, we need to save money. And speaking of money, this leads to our final reason you should upgrade rather than buying new, and that's because if you do upgrade, well really, if you upgrade through me, and that means using Build a Better Bike Upgrade Kit, and or if you purchase the tools that you'll need to make those upgrades yourself using the Build a Better Bike Basics Toolkit, you'll be helping me and my family not starve. Currently, this is my full-time job, and your view, your subscription, those do mean a lot. But buying your upgrades directly from me will mean a lot more. So please, reach out for any upgrades you plan to do on your bike. If you buy either of the kits that I've mentioned, either the upgrade kit or the tool kit, you'll save 20% off what it would cost to buy those components or tools at the retail price individually.
So hopefully these reasons have been enough to convince you that upgrading is the way to go. It's certainly been a huge blessing for me and my family to take the upgrade approach to mountain biking. If you've been following along with the upgrades on your screen to this bike, you'll note that we went pretty far with these upgrades, which we don't always do, but which have made quite a difference. This bike wasn't horrible to begin with, but now this bike is an excellent XC race bike. We've got a bike with a better one by drivetrain with some high-end carbon cranks and a new lightweight wheel set, high-end race fork, a Sid Select, which is a huge upgrade over that SR Suntour coil fork we replaced it with, and lighter carbon seat post and handlebar. These components will make the bike more reliable and more enjoyable and saved our rider a bunch of weight. I'll put the weight on the screen now because I, as I'm recording this, I'm, I'm not actually sure what it will be but you can see on the screen how much weight we saved. And really, if we can save pounds off of a young rider in the race, that will definitely make a difference come race time. So these upgrades with that 20% discount I gave that customer is about a $1,300 set of upgrades. Now I know some of you on your comments will say that all these upgrades to a Scott aspect frame seem silly, but you'd be missing the point. Again, the goal here is to begin the process of slowly upgrading this racer's bike over time. And as soon as he outgrows the Scott aspect, all of these excellent components can be stripped off and put on whatever frame set the customer chooses. Then moving all these components over, he'll immediately have a lightweight cross country sled, which will compete with kids whose parents went all out and bought them the brand new $5,000 bike without any of the benefits you gained by doing it the fun, affordable, and educational way. Okay, you get it. I think I made my point. And whether you're a parent wanting to upgrade your kid's bike or a kid wanting to upgrade your own bike, or if you just enjoy videos about mountain biking stuff, I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll talk to you again real soon.